verdicts will be heard tomorrow in the penalty phase of the marathon bombing trial. Then the jury will decide whether Johar Zarnayev is put to death or spends the rest of his life in prison. New Center Press Kelly Tuttle is live outside federal court with a preview. Kelly? Well, our legal experts saying tonight that these closings are very important, a lot at stake here. Martha Coakley believes they can and will make a difference in the jury's verdict. As a jury prepares to debate Johar Sarnayev's punishment, lawyers are arguing whether the victim impact of the murder of eight year old Martin Richard should be stricken as an aggravating factor toward the death penalty. The defense argues the Richard family did not testify in the penalty phase along with the families of the three other victims. An indignant U.S. attorney points out in court filings that Bill Richard testified in the trial's first phase and that the extent and scope of the injury and loss suffered by his family. Is immeasurable. I do think if this jury cannot find unanimously a death penalty for the count relating to the murder of Martin Richard, then they're unlikely to find it on the other counts. WCVB legal analyst Martha Coakley expects jurors may spend several days grappling with a lengthy and complex verdict form. In the case of 9 11 conspirator Zacharias Massawi, the jury deliberated 41 hours before sentencing him to life. A jury spent 11 hours before giving Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh a death sentence. It also took 11 hours of deliberation for a Massachusetts jury to give spree killer Gary Lee Sampson. A death sentence, and it took a Springfield jury five hours to sentence nurse Kristen Gilbert to life. Whatever the jury decides, I'm going to be okay with because I cannot fathom what they are struggling with. They've seen things and heard things they sh nobody should have to see or hear. And of course, that's coming from a woman who survived the bombings. We should note that counseling will be made available to this jury after the trial is done. Live at the federal courthouse, I'm Kelly Tuthill, WCVB News Center 5.